Okay, so today we're going to be finding out more about the API calls and the limits. So in your setup, under Company Profile, under Company Information, we have this area for uh, API calls within the last 24 hours. In this example, 73 is the number of calls that I've made, and the 25,000 is the maximum number of calls that I can make. This is typically things like your data loader, your Outlook connector, integrations that a third-party company may be using or have built. We're not going to focus on the streaming APIs. Those are more real-time and less people use them anyway. Now this company information only tells you the last 24 hours and doesn't really give you much more information than the calls. So what if you're using more than one device, you have multiple users, that sort of fun stuff. Well in that case there's a report under administrative reports called API usage in the last seven days. So I've customized this report a little bit by adding the uh, call count, which is the number of API calls, which is, again, you see totals up to 73, but this time broken up by device, uh, which is the client ID. In this example, I've been using uh, two different data loaders, the uh, 19 and the uh, 26 versions. And we can see that I've called on two different days for Thursday and Friday. And what this type of information allows you to do is figure out when you should be scheduling things. So if I'm getting a lot of calls to Outlook on Thursday, I know that I should schedule my batch data loader on a different time. A lot of people run uh, their batch reports over the weekend. One downside of this is this report only gives you the last seven days. There's no way to adjust that. So if you want more than the last seven days, you're going to have to use the export details each week to uh, export this report. Thanks for watching.